Hey guys, what's going on? A Button Games here, back on Diablo 3. So, first things first, as most of you guys actually saw, I have the PS4 Pro now, so the good news is that I won't be competing with the jet engine that was the PS4 original fans in the background. That was kind of a pain in the ass to have to try to work around. Um, second is, I'm not sure if there's too much different about this game for the PS4 Pro. The colors do definitely look more vibrant, and my buddy who also plays this game kind of said the same thing, but... As far as that, I don't, I don't know too much else different. Um, I do know that now I can record for videos much longer than uh, 15 minutes at a time without it giving my capture card shit uh, for whatever reason. So that's good. I don't know if that's a PS4 Pro thing or if that's just like a new firmware update that they did. So in the background here we have Greater Rift. I think this is 58. I want to say this is 58 or 60 or something like that. I don't, it's not too high. I'm still working on getting my gems up like you guys uh, suggested, but. What I kind of want to talk about is, I noticed that at the BlizzCon uh, a few weeks ago, or last week, whenever the hell it was, that Blizzard announced that they're adding the Necromancer into the game, so I figured it was only apt to play as the Witch Doctor when we're going to discuss that, so I think it'll be interesting because the Witch Doctor and the Necromancer, in my opinion, were basically the same class, um, so I'm not 100% sure how they're going to be incredibly different and of course it's blizzard so you know they're going to be completely different but i'm not exactly sure how they're going to pull that off so i think it'll be interesting to see what they do um i'm almost wondering if maybe the necromancer is going to have more skills geared towards the actual pets themselves as opposed to just like standalone skills kind of like how my skills don't really play off my pets too much except for the ones that are like specifically to summon the pet um, all of my skills are kind of like what I'm casting and what I'm doing. So I'm wondering maybe if the Necromancer will have skills that are specifically for the pet. So when I use the skill, the pet does something. As opposed to right now, it's just me using a skill. My pets are kind of just running around doing whatever the fuck they feel like. Which could be really, really interesting um, if it's done right. Otherwise, it could be kind of boring because you might be passive in the background while you're just kind of running around while you're trying to ma micromanage your pets, which could be totally a pain in the ass, but... It's Blizzard, so we know that they'll pull it off. So I think that that's slated for a 2017 release. Um, anyone who has the PS4 version, I'm pretty sure is going to get it, because I don't think they even released a base version for the PS4. I think all PS4 versions had the Reaper of Souls in it, so I wouldn't really uh, think that you have to do anything too special about that. So, then, like I said, the Necromancer, it looks like the... Um, the Necromancer from the mini events in Act Two. If you guys know about that, there's like the little mini events when you're walking around in the in the desert. Um, sometimes you'll run into the Necromancer and he'll have an event for you. So that's the, it's the same character, um, at least the male version. That's the same looking one. Um, so they use the same model and stuff. And I remember a lot of people were speculating that um, once they saw that, were they going to add the Necromancer into the game or not? So. I don't know if that was speculation on their part, or if it just so happened to be that way that they had a Necromancer in here and then they added it to the game, but yeah, either way, it, it looks pretty cool. It'll be interesting to see how they can differentiate it a lot from the Witch Doctor so people don't feel like they're playing the same class twice. Um, you know, of course when it comes out, I'm going to have a shit ton of videos on it. We're going to try to break the game as much as we can when that class comes out. We're going to try to, you know... Get, get the cheapest, the most ridiculous build that you've ever seen from that, so that'll be kind of cool. And kind of keeping keeping going from uh, last week, kind of what I want you guys to leave down below in your comments for this class is uh, leave down below like your weirdest build that you use for the Witch Doctor, because the Witch Doctor has some really, really strange items that you could use. Um, I know there's that one that like makes Hex do really strange things. It's like a it's a it's a dagger in an offhand. I think it's only a two set piece, but if you use that, you're kind of limited in the other sets that you can use. So if anyone's actually tried that out, uh, definitely let me know down below. And if there's any other really strange builds, like you know some of the offsets that people don't necessarily use a lot, because I mean let's face it, uh, Zubimasa and Jade Harvester really is the way to go with this class if you want to survive in high torment. Unless I'm missing something from one of the other. Uh, secondary you know, specialty builds because those could be pretty interesting die 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 so i'm rolling with um jade harvester obviously most of you guys know that i'm rolling with jade harvester we got haunt on of course uh to kind of boost the damage there so to go along with that we have that ring of emptiness that makes you do um i think it's 200 let me kill these guys and take a peek for you guys i'm not sure if i've explained that in my last video but just to make sure um 
you do 260% damage from enemies affected by both your haunt and your locust swarm. So, of course, in order to do that, you need uh, wormwood, I think it is, in your in your cube, and that basically constantly makes my locust swarm hit people all around me. So, and haunt is really really good at just finding people and hitting them. So really, that's that's why I'm hitting for 90, 60, the whatever billions of damage with 130 billion damage, 240. But of course, I have the power rune on, so it doesn't really count. Um, you know, I think the most I've ever hit for without the power rune was like 98 billion. I think I've seen that before. Um, unfortunately, this isn't a computer, so you can't see um, your most damaging hit, which is kind of disappointing, unless I'm missing it somewhere in like the settings or achievements. But on PC, you can see that, but on here, I don't think you can. Which, yeah, it is what it is. Um, we also got the little pet guys running around because of my um, Belt of Transcendence. I decided to use that. There's there's another one that I think benefits Haunt a little bit more, so I might, I might try that out a little bit. What what what? How is this guy not getting hit by anything though? Like, jeez, die! Holy crap! How is that guy not getting hit by anything? That was weird. Maybe his shield was a little glitchy or something. So, like I said, when the Necromancer comes out, probably gonna do like kind of a, a walkthrough with that character. Um, just to start to finish because you know they're going to add probably a new act to the game or a whole bunch of new areas, maybe some new bosses, things like that. I don't know if they're going to increase the level cap or not. Um, I doubt it just because of how long it takes people to, to get where they are, but I mean, I guess because most of your stuff now comes from the actual set effects and the gems, it wouldn't be too difficult to increase the level cap and then you just have to find the highest or the higher level of your item. You wouldn't necessarily have to get gems all the way back up because I know those are a pain in the ass. Like legendary gems, it's kind of what I'm working on with all my characters now. And I, I don't remember what the max level is. What is it, like 180, something crazy like that? I, I have to look on computer. I know I don't have any max out on computer, but I was pretty close. Um, like I said, I didn't really have the motivation to go all the way back through uh, on the PS4 version and get those all the way back up because that takes a hell of a lot of time to do. For those of you who haven't done it, it takes a lot of time. I commend those of you who have. <laughs> this, this, is, this isn't too bad. We're kind of uh, running through this rift pretty damn easily here, which is nice. Um, I was hoping that it wouldn't be too difficult. I can't really remember how high of a rift I can do on this guy. I think I can probably get pretty close to 70. I mean, I know it says the highest completed that I have on here is 78, but... Um, I think that was kind of a while ago before they changed some of the mechanics around. I used to have the, um, I used to have a really obscure build on this guy. Um, I might try and get that again and show you guys. It was the, it was a zombie dog build where you transformed the zombie dogs into, um, the bigger one, the tall man's finger. And then I think, is tall man's or short man's finger? I think I had both going. It was, it was just crazy. And it was really glitchy back then and you could get the dog to hit for like hundreds of billions of damage and it just would never ever die so I feel like that's why I was able to do that you can't do that anymore I tried it doesn't work they definitely uh, fixed a little bit of that so which is which is good for them because otherwise it was kinda broken as hell so let's, uh, let's put some gems here I think I have um, let's see I think simplicity strength is one of the ones that I use for the poison dart build so this, just because the poison darts is kind of your main damage dealer and it heals you a lot when you have uh, simplicity strength done because poison darts are primary skill. Don't do, I'm not using that at the moment. I think I have this. Um, yeah, I think I'm using this. I think I'm using esoteric alteration. Um, so we're just going to throw this up there and we're going to, this, this will definitely increase survivability by a lot when you get up to t rank 25. Well below 50% life, your resistance to cold fire, lightning, and poison are increased by, was that 75%? So let's see, what rings, what uh, gems do I have in here? I have, oh, you know what? I have to um, put a socket in this one for right now. So once I get the esoteric alteration up to 25, I'm going to put a socket in this and throw that on there. Um, not exactly sure what I'm going to remove from that because that has a lot of good, <laughs> it's a lot of good stuff. 20,000 life per hit, 10% critical hit chance. Um, and I'm not, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to, oh, nope, don't do that. <laughs> I just wanted to click back into the thing. Well, let's see what we got here. Yeah, yep. I think I got the same one twice here, though. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. We got a lot of legendaries there. God damn. What are we going to get? Those are interesting, I think. Are those the um, the one where the longer you hold your skills, more damage you do? Oh, no. Oh, those are the vamp the vampiric ones or whatever. Vampiric embraces. Th those are the ones I'm thinking of. This That could be an interesting set to try. I might try that out and make a video. This one right here. Um, summon a permanent spider queen. All these things. Hex gains the effect of the... Of the toad runes and the damage 
The damage of your creature skills increased by 15%. Creature skills include Corpse Spider, Plague of Toads, Fire Bats, Locust Swarm, Hex, and Piranhas. So that could be really, really interesting to see how that could uh, work. Zuni Mass, obviously everyone knows that. This looks like the um, Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper. Because, yeah, okay. <laughs> Funny play on words by them. What we got here? Helltooth. And... Uh, Chang... Yep. Chang Mao. Alright, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. So, I just kind of want to make this quick video here, guys. At least put something up for you guys to watch. I know it's been a while since so I posted the video. If you didn't watch my PS4 Pro video, when I went to turn in my PS4, I forgot to take all the videos that I had pre-recorded and stuff um, off of that. And I kind of fucked myself over, so... I had like five or six things recorded already on that over the last few weeks, and I didn't take them off. So now I'm kind of behind in all of my games and NHL in this and stuff like that. So hopefully I can catch back up, and I'm going to be on the lookout for more videos. I'm going to be uploading a lot more here in the coming days. So thanks, guys, for being patient. And also, I have Dishonored 2. I'm probably going to record a video of that, so feel free to check that out. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this. So if you did, if you liked it, drop a like on the video. Uh, like I said, leave your suggestions down below for quirky builds or your favorite builds. Or if I'm missing a legendary gem that I should be using with this guy, um, leave your comments on how you think they're going to differentiate the Necromancer. Maybe they uh, release some information about it that I haven't seen yet. So definitely leave that down below. And until next time, guys, see ya!